Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install Elementary OS Luna Beta 1. Elementary OS is an Ubuntu-based operating system and is created by the Elementary Foundry. To install an Elementary OS, simply burn the ISO to a CD or DVD and boot up your computer. After you've booted to your computer, you'll be greeted with this screen. Select the Install Elementary OS button. You'll be greeted with this screen. After selecting your language on the left side, left hand side, you can have an option of Try Elementary OS or Install. If you're installing, click the Install Elementary OS button. With the top hand part, it will show you the requirements. You have to have at least 3.8 gigabytes free. It's, it's suggested that you plug your computer into a power source if you're using a laptop or a handheld device. And it suggests this connect to the internet so it can download updates. For the purpose of the video, I will not be selecting download updates or install third-party software. You can choose to select either of these or none. Downloading updates while installing will update your system to the most recent version. Installing third-party software will install all the codecs required to view and play media and audio files. Some of the codecs installed, some of the codecs that it downloads are not covered by the GNU public license, so that's why they're not included in Ubuntu. After clicking continue, you'll be greeted with another option. You can either erase and install onto the whole hard drive, or if you have another operating system, you can dual boot. By selecting something else, you'll be greeted with multiple options. If there's another operating system present, it'll ask you if you want to upgrade, if it's Linux installed, or install alongside. But since we're doing a clean install, I'm going to do a race disk and install. Click continue. After you do that, you will be greeted with a drop down menu of the hard drives. There's only one hard drive installed, so I'll select that one. Then you click install now. After clicking install, your system will in after clicking install now, the system will install onto your hard drive and ask you some questions. It asks where you live, approximately. Then it'll ask what keyboard and language you have. To test the keyboard, you can use the test here box. After you've done that, click continue. Then you'll be prompted for a name, your computer's name, a username, and a password. After putting in your name, It'll usually try to guess by the hardware manufacturer what type of computer you can, you're using. You can always erase what information is put in there and rename it yourself. I'm going to name it Ryan-VM for Virtual Machine. Then I'm going to keep the username as Ryan. The username is the name which shows up on your user account when you log in and log out. The password, which you have to click, which you have to select by default, is suggested to be at least 10 to 13 characters in length, varying from numbers to letters. On the right hand side, it'll tell you whether or not your password is strong, weak, fair, or strong. On the bottom, it'll show you whether or not your passwords match. If they do not match, it'll give you a message to say that says passwords do not match. But if they do match, it'll give you a green dot showing that showing an OK. Then here, you can either select Login Automatically, which means if you when you boot up your computer, you'll log in automatically into your user account, or Require My Password to Log In. I suggest you click Require My Password to Log In for a more secure system. But if there's only one user, or you or you're sure no one else will be using your computer, select Login Automatically. 
For the purpose of this video, I have selected login automatically. While you're going through these settings, at the bottom of the screen, it will be giving you a progress bar. But after you've gone through the setup menu, uh, after you've gone through the setup options, it'll bring you to this window where it says dropping files. And it shows you the progress of the install. If you'd like to learn more, click the arrow for the drop down menu. And it'll show you a downsized terminal window showing what it's currently doing. When you first boot up to the elementary OS, Luna, Beta 1, CD, or DVD, the installer will ask you whether or not you want to update the installer. If you've clicked that, it will retrieve files and then queue them up. Seeing as I did select that option, after the OS has after the OS finished installing, it goes to this window which says it's retrieving files. Currently it's retrieving 58 of 87 with an approximate 9 seconds remaining. Periodically, during the update of the installation, it'll scan repositories for new up, for new files. What it'll do is it'll retrieve the information of the files from the uh, PPA server. After doing that, it'll check against the date of the current files, and if it's newer than the files being installed, it'll replace them. After the operating system has retrieve the language packs. It will install the language, the language packs. After it's finished that and finished retrieving other packages, it will configure your hardware. After configuring hardware, it should be finished. Usually a Linux installation takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. Currently it's downloading and updating the Linux generic PAE boot image Depending on your internet connection, this may take several minutes. After your install completes, you'll be prompted with this message to restart. Click the Restart Now button after ejecting your CD from the CD tray. After restarting, your computer should boot up to the elementary OS boot screen. After rebooting, your computer will boot up, you'll see the boot screen, and then you'll be presented at your either login screen or desktop. This has been a uh, this has been a tutorial from Zesty Panda on how to install Elementary OS Luna Beta 1. Any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave in the comments below. Thank you.